Good morning, students. Sit down, all of you. Partha, you come first. Sit here. Come here. Okay. Today we are going to read about bhar. In the previous class, as I remember, I have already told you what is main bhar and what is auxiliary bhar. Remember or forgot? Okay. Let's have a recapitulation. So first you tell me what is bhar. by those words which show some action or some activities are done is known as verbs. Okay. It is mainly divided into two types. One is main verb and another is auxiliary verb. Okay. Suppose he is a he is playing football. Here which one is the main verb? Play. This is the auxiliary verb. Okay. Auxiliary is also two types. I already told you but sometimes we forgetting. So today we will learn about another type of classification of verb that is finite and non-finite. Finite verb and non-finite verb. <coughs> Give me a book if you have. Okay. So first you tell me what is finite verb? Okay. So, you know subject verb agreement means the verb will take the person or the number or the tense as it is in the verb. According to the uh, yes, subject, the verb will also change its form. How? Suppose this is my book. Okay. This is my book. It is in singular. If I will convert it into plural, suppose I will write these, then it will also become are my books. So this is known as your subject verb <coughs> agreement. So in finite verb, <coughs> So, my tone became like Rani Mukherjee. <laughs> okay, listen. So, finite verb is the verb which has a finite or limited agreement with the verb. It changes its form as per the, as per some parameters. There are mainly three types of parameters according to which a finite verb changes its form as per the tense, tense, person, and number. According to these three parameters, the finite verbs change if the subject is in which tense likewise the bar will also change. Suppose, so according to tense, I play football every day. It is in which tense? Tell me. It is in which tense? Present tense, simply present tense. 
it is in present tense okay i played football yesterday it is past tense so this play in the first sentence it becomes played in the second sentence according to the change of the tense we change the tense then the verb changed so play and played in both the sentence as are finite verbs understood when i will uh, discuss about non finite verb then you can differentiate and know better so according to as per tense finite verbs change play becomes played or will play it will change the form according to the tense then according to the person so finite verb it changes as per tense we know the examples as i given you the example okay then comes the second parameter person how many persons are there three three first person second person third person when the subject of the pers person the subject of the person changes then it also changes the verb suppose i run very fast here it is first person if will change the person will just like will write he he is third person or second person third person singular okay only third person so run will become runs runs very good he runs very fast so the verbs which is finite or limited with the agreement of the subject then it is known as finite verb according to the parameter of tense it changes its form according to person it also changes its form as we seen in the example okay run become runs when we change the person from first person to third person understood if i write they they run okay she runs rahul runs rahul runs okay but uh, rather i like to call you uh, as uh, rehman i don't know why but i like this name then rahul then according to number as per number also the sub verb change if the how many numbers are there singular and plural you are forgetting singular and plural two numbers singular and plural if it is one in number singular from standard one you are reading it if it is more than one plural so according to number of the subject if the subject is is singular the verb will something different if the sub, uh, plural then the verb will change suppose an example apple is of red color so here apple is singular or plural it will take singular verb it will take singular verb if i will change the number of apple to plural apples are of red color understood so according to the number the verb changes its form this is known as the is are these are the finite verbs we use in this sentence okay then comes your non finite verb
Non-finite verb is further divided into three types. What are those? Infinite, zero, and one. Yes. Zero. Infinitives. And participles. Who is making this sound? Gerund, infinitive and participles. Non-finite verb. First let us understand what is non-finite verb. Finite verbs, as we learn, has an agreement with the subject. When the subject changes as per the tense, as per the number or as per the person, the verb also changes its form. But in non-finite verb, it, there is no limited or finite agreement with the subject. And they don't act like main verb in the sentence. But finite verbs are the main verbs. Okay. The non-finite verbs, they don't behave like, what is that? Main verb. Verbs. Main verb, but they don't behave like verbs either. Okay, they function as a noun or adjective or adverb. So, non-finite verbs. Okay, non-finite verb. Functions as noun. adjective or adverb. Okay. They don't behave like like a verb. They don't behave like verbs. They are no more verbs. But they look like verbs. Okay, okay, I will give you an example, suppose I love dancing, here which one is the verb? Dancing. You will say love and dancing both are verbs, but here dancing is used as a noun, what I love? I love dancing. How we can get the subject of a sentence? When we will ask a question. Okay. So here dancing is, looks like a verb, but it is a noun. Understood? Suppose another sentence, I have no time to study. Here I have no time to study. Here to study is behaving like adjective. But it known as, uh, we can see and we can call it as a verb. But it is not a verb. It is non-finite verbs. Your non-finite verbs are of three types. What are those? Zero, infinitives and participles. So first is zirant. So what is zirant? Already in some class, I, as I remember, I told you about zirant. Have not I told you? Okay. So, Jiran are those verbs in ing form which functions as nouns or objects in a sentence. So, they don't behave like verbs. They are in ing form, but they don't behave like verbs. Those are known as Jiran. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. 
आई लव रीडिंग बुक्स आई लव रीडिंग आई लव रीडिंग हियर रीडिंग इज यूज एज जीरो इट इज एन इट इज यूज एज नाउन ओके जेरॉन यूज एज नाउन इफ आई राइट वॉकिंग इज ए गुड एक्सरसाइज ओके सो हियर वॉकिंग इज यूज एज नाउन ओके वॉकिंग इज यूज एज नाउन सो दिस दिस इज एडिंग आई एन जी टू द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वॉर we get gerund it is not used as a verb it is used as noun or object understood so you can give more example okay you can give more examples any example tell the sentence tell in a sentence i like eating momos i like eating momos okay i don't like okay then comes your infinitive what happened infinitive song who is song that movie no song okay leave that i don't know <laughs> what is that song and movie so infinitive we make infinitive by adding uh, by adding to to the base verb okay suppose one verb is play will add to play to run to study these are known as infinitive and if when you are using to only the base form of the verb you will write here to playing wrong to played wrong only if you are using the infinitive to then you have to write the base form of the verb play am i understood okay next comes your participle participle three types of their present participle and past participle what is present participle rahul rahul is favorite name no okay he is playing a game so here playing it is in the present participle the base form and when we put ing in that is known as present participle okay are you understanding or not okay can you do the exercises from the book okay underline the finite verbs and circle the non finite verbs in the following sentence page number 27 exercise 1 Walking is a good exercise. Finite or non-finite? Here. How can you tell non-finite? Sentence is walking is a good exercise. You have to explain me why it is non-finite and why it is finite. Walking is used as a noun or subject. Okay. Uh, the cows are grazing in the field finite finite verb 
Priti was hungry. Priti was hungry. Rajasri is telling something, Mukta. Something. She is telling that she is also hungry. Okay. Okay. There is an exercise, rewrite the sentence by uh, beginning with them with it, it. Page number 30. You have to rewrite the sentence, but you will begin the sentence with it. To live without air and water is impossible. Who can tell the sentence? Stand up and tell. It is impossible to live without water and air. Okay. Now next Abhijit you tell to talk to her is a pleasure. It's a pleasure to talk to her. But whom? <laughs> okay. To defy your uh, employee is foolish of you. To defy your employer is foolish of you. So make It is foolish of you to defy your employer. Okay. Mukta, to steal is a sin. No, what I am telling? You have to reconstruct the sentence beginning with it. it. Stand up. It is a sin to steal. It is a sin to, sin to steal. steal. Good. Now, Bali, stand up. To throw stones at the frogs was cruel of you. To throw at the frogs was cruel of you. Begin the sentence using it. It is cruel of you to throw stone at the frog. Okay, sit down. Kiran. To tell lies is immoral. Start the sentence with it. But it is immoral to tell lies. Very good. It is immoral to tell lies. Okay, sit down. Himanchu, to convince you is difficult. Very good. Asis, to play in the middle of the street is not safe for children. It is not safe for children to play in the middle of the street. Very good. Okay. Next, Radhika, to serve two masters is very difficult. It's really difficult. It is really difficult to serve two masters. To serve two masters. Okay, sit down. Okay. Complete the sentence using suitable infinitives. The traveler did not know where? To go. To go. Very good. It was very kind of you. Infinitive. You have to use to with a verb. To me. Me is a verb. It is very kind of you to help me. To help. His, his speech was difficult to understand. <coughs> Sorry. The doctor has many patients. To treat. <laughs> there was nobody to play. Okay. It would be a pleasure for us to. The story is hard to remember, to understand. 
Wasn't it selfies of you? To leave me alone? Okay. Now come to the next page. Uh, rewrite the sentence using two, two pattern. The coffee is very hot. I cannot drink it. No, 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 no. The coffee is too hot to drink. This is the format. Yes. The coffee is too hot to drink. Okay. So the format is two and two. Now tell me, this shirt is very costly. I cannot afford it. Amran. To afford. To afford. Very good. The shirt is too costly to afford. You are very late. You cannot reach the school in time. You are too late to reach the school in time. Okay. Or you are too late to reach the school. He is very ill. He cannot go to school today. Yes, that's it. He is too ill to go to school today. Okay. Savita is so young that she should not get married yet. Savita is too young to get married. To marry. To get mar married. Okay. He was so scared that he could not utter a word. He was too scared to utter a word. Okay. So this is your task. You complete all the exercises and give me tomorrow. Okay. And I will give you the, your copies today after checking the, your last test. Five, six copies are there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.